As scientists around the world race to find a vaccine for COVID-19 and even a cure, a drug heavily pushed by the president, it doesn't seem to be a front runner. PJ Walker has a story. Back in March, we met an infectious disease doctor from North Dakota on the front lines looking for a cure to coronavirus, studying the drug hydroxychloroquine and its effect on people that contract the deadly virus. Since March, we've completed uh, two randomized controlled trials, um, one looking at um, hydroxychloroquine uh, and being able to treat early COVID-19 disease, um, and the other one looking at hydroxychloroquine as post-exposure prophylaxis, uh, meaning that you're trying to prevent developing disease after getting exposed. President Trump has been a longtime supporter of the drug, even after some of the country's top health experts said otherwise, like Dr. Fauci. Uh, hydroxy uh, has tremendous uh, support, but politically it's toxic because uh, I supported it. If I would have said, do not use hydroxychloroquine under any circumstances, uh, they would have come out and they would have said it's a great it's a great thing. Dr. Fauci recently shared that a study using hydroxychloroquine at the Henry Ford Hospital and many others have not shown success. The same is for Dr. Skipper and his team at the University of Minnesota. Both trials found essentially the same thing that uh, hydroxychloroquine was not able to effectively either um, prevent progression of disease uh, compared to placebo or prevent disease after exposure compared to placebo. Dr. Skipper says that doesn't mean the drug can't be used to fight the virus at all, just not on a universal scale. Instead, it may be effective in certain populations, like healthcare workers who could take the drug and it would prevent them from getting it. He says although they weren't able to find a cure, others are working hard for vaccines to end the pandemic. Reporting in Minot for KX News, I'm PJ Walker. Dr. Skipper says other medications are being looked at that could cure COVID-19. Let's stay tuned. Coming up